Greetings there YouTube world, Mike Hauser here with another video blog. I just want to take a few moments here. Uh, the, today is Saturday, December the 10th and we're right in the middle of Christmas time. And uh, I know so many people right now I'm connected to that are going through just such a difficult time. Uh, Christmas time is, is statistically uh, the highest uh, percentage of, of suicide attempts and depression out of the whole year. And I, I understand why when, when you think about the way that our, our culture portrays Christmas time. Uh, through so many uh, television Christmas specials and, and the movies and what you hear from people is that Christmas is it's about family and it's about being happy and it's about you know opening gifts under the tree on Christmas morning and uh, and for so many people uh, the reality is is that uh, this is one of the hardest times of year because it reminds us of all the things that are messed up in our life right now um, it, it could be that uh, you're in the middle of, uh, of a divorce or, or a breakup with someone that uh, you trusted and you were so close to it could be that uh, this is the first Christmas uh, without uh, your loved one it could be maybe you've lost your mom or your dad or even more tragically you've lost your baby boy or your baby girl this past year uh, maybe it's uh, you, you you've lost your job but you, you had a really really good job and uh, for whatever reason uh, circumstances have it that you're looking for work and you're not even sure you can pay the rent this Christmas uh, let alone open up Christmas gifts on Christmas morning I just want to say that I, I think when you really uh, look at the scriptures uh, they give us permission to experience depression. Um, the Bible is is full of so many people that uh, that knew what what sorrow was like. And I, I want to quote uh, Isaiah 53. It's talking about Jesus. Uh, it tells us it, it says that uh, Jesus had no beauty or majesty to attract us to Him. Nothing in His appearance that we should desire Him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one whom men hid, uh, hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. I often wonder uh, what so many Christian people I know that they always want to jump to the solution and, and the happy and, hey, just be joyful, look on the bright side, and all these kind of cliche things. I often wonder what they would say to Jesus if they ran into him and he was full of sorrow and uh, in the middle of being despised and rejected and imagine being in his small uh, having Jesus in your small group and some of the well-meaning Christians some of the advice they give them that it's like ridiculous um, God gives us permission uh, to, to be full of sorrow at times and uh, and hopefully that's not where it ends for you hopefully you find the true meaning of what Christmas is all about and that's that Jesus can be born in the middle of your darkness and your, your, the, the difficult situation that you're facing right now, the world that feels like it's closing in on you, you please understand Jesus was born into that exact circumstance. Um, I was uh, doing a sandwich run uh, for the homeless a few years ago in Toronto. We passed by this uh, fella in a wheelchair and uh, he was kind of mumbling to himself and you could tell uh, within maybe 10 or 15 feet that he was drunk. Uh, he had a bottle of Jack Daniels whiskey on his lap and he had uh, thrown up and he had peed himself and he was kind of mumbling. One of the support workers I was with uh, spoke with him for a few minutes to see if he needed anything. Uh, but uh, I remember what the worker shared with me after and he said, you know what, when I look and I see uh, someone like that who literally looks like the, the bottom has fallen out of their life and there they are, um, he says, I think of Jesus who was born into similar circumstances, born into a, a homeless situation where uh, he, he, the place he was born, there was uh, cows and, and other animals and stuff, right? Cows, I think it's cattle, but whatever. Uh, he, he was born into just a very dark and, and hopeless situation to show that even in the middle of a hopeless situation, there is hope. That Jesus uh, it was born in the middle of that. He wants to birth within you hope that you have a future and God has plans for your pain that you're going through right now and it's okay to experience those things. Um, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3 it says there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. Maybe you're just looking at this Christmas and, and you're feeling like, man, your, your life is a mess right now. And you, you between relationships gone wrong and, and financial instability and uh, maybe the loss of loved ones, and you, you feel like a wreck and you're thinking, man, everyone else is happy and he, here's me. Please understand that God, he might be the only person that fully understands what you're going through right now because Jesus 
He, he's been to where you are right now, and He wants to reach out to you and communicate a message of hope. And that although right now you might still be uh, in the manger, so to speak, and, and the animals are still around, and, and it looks like a hopeless situation, Jesus wants to bring light into that. Jesus, He says uh, in Revelation, he says, uh, he says, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. I've been through a number of things. I'm not going to share in this particular video blog, but I know what it's like to, to be an emotional basket case and to be like fe feeling like I would, I'd rather die right now than be experiencing what I'm experiencing. Um, it's, a, it's a tough place to be, but in my life, I've hung on to the hope that Jesus is there with me and he has a plan, and I'm astounded at the story that he's written in my life. And I'm sure there'll be another moment sometime in the next few years where there I am again in a hopeless situation, feeling like God has abandoned me and left me for dead. But I know based on the past and I know based on his word, God doesn't waste your hurt. He doesn't waste your pain. He's writing some beautiful story in your life, even though you don't see it right now. So anyways, this Christmas, as you're looking around at all these people that are trying to say, oh, Christmas, it's about family and happiness and presents and all these things. And you're like, I, I don't think so, not in my life. Um, just understand, Jesus, He came, that the, the, the reason He came, it wasn't for presents, it wasn't for family, it wasn't for all of those things, it wasn't for perfect marriages and perfect families, uh, perfect relationships with kids and with parents, that's not what he, he, He came to bring hope in the middle of what you're facing right now. So I just hope that that encourages you kind of in the middle of this, and um, I've got a link to uh, another message if you care to hear more, feel free to click on that. But uh, I just hope that uh, this Christmas you'll understand you're not alone. Jesus understands where you're at, and there's other people. If you reach out to them and, and, and share, um, you don't need to go through this alone. So uh, anyways, uh, contact me if, uh, if I can be of help of any way. I know I'm, I'm a bald guy that you probably don't know, and you're like, why would I call you? Uh, but uh, feel free to contact me um, through my video blog channel uh, if, if you'd like. Take care.